All right, in this video I want to talk about Israel and the Jews. And I want to talk about things I've been seeing, things I've been thinking about. You need to be real careful with the Jews because they're God's people. He's blessed them. And for his namesake, he's going to stand up for them in spite of their apostasy, uh, in spite of their sins, because of his promises to them and to their fathers. And for his own namesake, he's not going to let the Gentiles, the godless heathens, trample over them in spite of any evil they may do and teach. All right? You should know this because uh, I've been seeing things and I got caught up in a lot of it too because I, I read the Bible and I read about Israel going into apostasy, right? And you have, I think in Amos, that they uh, went after Repham and made a star to this god, an image. And in the Bible, you're not going to find a star of David, right? But you're going to find the star of Repham. And that star is a actually hexagon because Repham represents Saturn or Kronos and is represented by a hexagon. And if you look at the supposed genuine pictures from NASA at one of the poles of Saturn, it has a hexagon shaped like hurricane at one of its poles. And that's the star of Saturn because it has the hexagon in the middle and then you just add the points to it and there you have what is, we call the Star of David, right? And in Acts we read about Stephen quoting Amos and how they've gone after this false god and made a star to him and these Jews stoned him to death. But you notice the interesting thing there is that the Jews were the evil ones. Stephen was the righteous one. He called them out, but he was the one stoned to death, not the Jews. Uh, not that the Jews didn't get their punishment in 70 AD, but still showing you, you know, how things may work out, right? So even if the Jews are doing something wrong, uh, you just got to look at them as God's child, and God's going to correct them. And you're not going to go over there and correct his children, even if you are right. That's just how it is. I'm not saying I like it. I'm not saying I condone a lot of these things that I'm seeing. But it is what it is. All right. You don't want to get caught up into some anti-Semitic stuff and add to the fuel to the fire of what's coming to Israel is where everybody is slowly building up this hatred for the Jews and for Israel. You know, they're saying that the Israel's running the banking system. Excuse me. And that they're causing a lot of these problems with uh, you know the currency, with the economy. With loans and interest and all this stuff. And that they are also behind Hollywood. And a lot of the crazy stuff they're peddling out there. Whether it's the woke movement in the movies and TV shows. Or whether it's uh, the weird pedophilia stuff going on over there. You know, the casting couch applies to women and men and children. Or how they're behind the porn industry. Uh, even like Mel Gibson says, uh, the Jews are behind all the wars and stuff like that. I'm not saying they are. I'm saying these are the things I hear about, things I read about, things I actually see evidence for, towards. But the thing is, is that we clump all the Jews together, right? And... There are some what I would call Zionist Jews behind these things. 
and there's Jews who actually speak out against Zionism and against a lot, a lot of what these Jews are doing because they create anti-Semitism and they know the world is going to be ganging up against them because of what they're doing. They're no, they know that the Gentiles see what they're doing and what it, they're doing is wrong and is building up a hatred and resentment towards them. But since they're God's children, he blessed them through their fathers and they have the oracles of truth and for his name's sake he's going to protect them and uh, you, you just got to deal with that and uh, I start to see look at myself and I got to think about things that I thought about things that I've said things that I've done and the patience God has had with me through my life and all the the bullshit he's had to put up with by just listening and watching me go through my life and how he has stuck up and guided me and protected me even though I don't deserve it so he's gonna do the same thing for Israel for the Jews even though they know they don't deserve it But, uh, uh, and I don't mean to lump them all in the group because, like I said, there's Jews who speak out against what's going on. And uh, it's just, you know, prophecy being fulfilled. They're all coming back to the land in unbelief. Uh, things are going to be getting set up for them and the Messiah is going to come back. Jesus is going to return and they're going to have the veil removed we just got to be patient and tough it out uh, you know this as Christians you know this isn't our world this isn't the kingdom we're gonna build up in and expect to be all comfy so you know we shouldn't get all worked up about it worked up about uh, how you know how Israel is acting how Israel is being treated we shouldn't get too worked up about it and we shouldn't get too worked up about our own nations and you know getting too patriotic where we start to put our nation above God or even on equal level with God or even on equal level with Israel cuz next to Israel God sees every other nation as nothing so Maybe you should too, right? That uh, would be the way to go. And it's tough to hear to say about blessing and cursing Israel. I would say uh, definitely don't curse them, whether in word or deed. But don't necessarily bless them either. And that's a tough thing to say because America has been blessing Israel with support through money and military aid and different things like that, right? But our country is falling apart big time, and a lot of that is because Jews mixed with atheists and Muslims and Satanists, among others, are pushing God and the Bible out of the government and out of the schools and out of everything. And that seems to bring a curse upon us. But the only thing that might be holding us up is the fact that we're still supporting Israel. And if we take back that support, uh, maybe everything's just going to fall down. I have no idea. I don't know if that's what's actually keeping us up or if it's part of what's cursing us. It's tough to really say, you know. Uh, all I got to say is don't, don't let, uh, curse them here. But I wanted to get into some scripture to end this. Because <clears throat> it says here in Romans chapter 11. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Sion the, the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. Right. So Jesus is going to come back. 
He's going to cast away ungodliness from Jacob. But it says here at verse 28, And concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. But you see how they're an enemy to the gospel, right? Because they deny Jesus is the Messiah. They deny the accepting of the Gentiles in by faith. And they're still elect for the Father's sake, right? Because of his promises and for his namesake, right? So even though they're in unbelief, even though they fight against him, he, he you know what? You can see that it's still his child. He's still going to take care of him. Because it says here, for the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. So he's, he, he already promised gifts and he has a calling and he's not going to repent from, he's not going to change. It says, for as ye in times past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief, even so have these also now not believed that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy. For God hath concluded them all in unbelief that he might have mercy upon all. All right, so they're in unbelief. That gives a, a blessing to the Gentiles. But when the Gentiles' time's up, he brings mercy back to them. Uh, removes ungodliness from them. So, yeah, there's more to it, but I figured this said everything I really wanted to say about it all in one little section. So, yeah, I, I guess that is about that. Thanks for watching. I hope this was clear. And take care.